dollars, raw talent in every situation You see the creation every time when I'm painting Been through real trials and them tribulations The devil steady working, but you know I keep the What's up, what's up, it's your boy, Greg Likebond of Bozeman Hey, welcome back to the art department, baby Welcome back to the art department <laughs> Hey, y'all get that energy? Did I, hey, did I open your eyes on this one? Was you like, oh, man, that dude is crazy. All right, I got you talking. I got the energy going. Now, let's focus now. Let's talk about it. Hey, before I begin, hey, this platform, man, is to help artists. It's to help artists. You know, you're an artist. It don't make no difference what you're doing. You're an artist. That's why it's called a knowledge, raw talent, art department, okay? But this platform is to help those that turn their craft, turn their artwork, you know, turn whatever it is that you need into wearable art. Because, look, you don't have to wait. Go out here and promote yourself with your T-shirts. Go out, go out here and make money with your T-shirts. Stop waiting. You know, the T-shirt game is wide open. It's not saturated. Don't believe that hype. It's wide open for you. So get up and let me help you turn your artwork into wearable art. All right? Hey, don't forget to subscribe. Like and subscribe for me. All right, y'all? All right, let's get into it right now, man. Look, why nobody's buying your brand? I, woo, I like that. Y'all read that, Johnny? You're like, hold up. Why nobody buying your brand? Hold up, hold up. Okay, we're going to go deeper to this. I did a little research about this, and I wanted to know for myself about it. I had an assumption about it, but I had to dig down deep in it. Okay, fashion. Y'all know back in the days, man, like 1969 and all that stuff, man, like, Louis Vuitton, Dior, and all that stuff, Polo, and all that stuff was coming up, right? Gucci and stuff like that. They was into the fashion. They was into the garments and stuff, man, the suits and all that stuff. That what made them, you know what I'm saying, that, 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 that mega brand, that mega fashion, you know what I'm saying, the gods of fashion, whatever you want to call it, right? That would put them, that, that, that gave them that status, okay? Now, that was back then. Everybody was looking at, how the garment was made, the trim, and all that stuff. That was then. Now, nobody's really paying attention to that. Woo! Did I just drop something on you? Nobody's really paying attention to that. A lot of your customers and a lot of people out here don't know the difference between cotton or poly blend. Nobody's really looking for that. For example, Supreme. Now, y'all know Supreme, I'm saying... Use the same stock shirts that we use. Screen print right on them. Vinyl right on them. Sublimation right on them. Whatever they do. Same stock t-shirts that we use. Right? Am I right? All right. Okay. But the thing that everybody's doing right now. They are buying the brand. Or what's hot. What's trending. They don't care about what you got on there. I mean what type of fabric and stuff like that, you can use a guild and all, and nobody really care about that. Especially in streetwear, nobody really cares. What everybody care about, and what I tell everybody to this day, you must have a story. You must build the value up into your brand. It's about the brand. It's about the concept of the brand. What are you doing with the brand? What's the meaning behind the brand? Niche, your target audience, your story. A lot of us, I'm saying, we don't even got a story behind our brands. Why we created this? You know, why we create this brand? A lot of us don't even have that. So that's what I'm telling you. It's about the value that you bring to the brand. You, you know the success formula to having a, a great brand, building a successful brand? It's going to rock your world. 75% is about marketing. 25% is about product. Uh, woo. 75% 75 is about marketing. 25% is about product. This day and age, every fashion has changed. It has evolved into something different. People don't worry about what I'm saying, the trim and you getting it from over Egypt and you doing this in Pakistan, all that stuff, you know what I'm saying? People are looking at the brand, the value it brings. I'm going to give you an example what I'm talking about. 
Supreme once again. They make bricks, fire extinguishers, and all this crazy stuff. And people are going crazy over it. Because you know why? Because of the name. If people don't know you, they're not going to support you. They're not going to buy you. They're not going to do nothing. So stop worrying about them saying what type of garment uh, or you need to get from Pakistan. You need to get it uh, manufactured here or whatever. It doesn't even matter. It's about your marketing skills, in which a lot of us don't even do. We forget about that. The marketing skills and your brand name. Your story behind your name. You get it? Mine's them saying, I'm a felon. You know, I started this, I'm a felon. I love art. You know, I, I, I don't, I hate somebody saying they starve, they're starving artists. You know what I'm saying? So my, my brand represents the knowledge for a talent. To turn your artwork into wearable art so you can be successful. A knowledge for a talent. That's me. That's the acronym for art department i want to i want to i want to help my artists because art is not dead in our community we just got to bring it back to life you understand i'm bring i want to bring art back into the forefront of everything because without art man it wouldn't be everything else designs or whatever it is that's my mission that's my story that's my brand what is yours do you have one I got to go to this paper real quick. The value of the brand, everybody looks for the value of the brand, a trend. You know what I'm saying? They look at the trend of it. That's what everybody gravitate to these days. They don't, if you really look at it, they really don't worry about them saying the fabric or anything. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you the honest God truth, man. Nobody worry about the fabric, man. They don't care if it's a guild. They don't care if it's neck. They don't even know the difference, man. Only people that would know the difference is people like me, you, you know what I'm saying? Somebody that's into fashion. They would know the difference between poly blend or cotton. A lot of them don't. That's why a lot of brands, big brands out there, they slip in gilders. And you wouldn't even know it. But somebody like me would know it. That if they use screen print or transfers or whatever they use on there, they use brick vinyl or, 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 or reflector or vinyl or whatever it is. See, I would know. But a lot of people out there don't know. You understand? So you got to market your brand. You got to add value to your brand. They want to hear the story behind their brand. I keep telling people you can have the ugliest design in the world. But if you got a great concept behind your brand, people, whatever you put out, people are going to support it off the break. People are going to support it. Once people find out my mission, once they found out my mission, I start getting sales. I start getting the attention. You know what I'm saying? I'm in the building process right now of getting the name out there, the brand out there. You understand? That's what you should do. You should be concentrating on marketing. Stop worrying about the fabrics or, 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 or I got to get to Pakistan. I got to get uh, Alibaba. Or no, 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 no. The fashion world has evolved into something different. And Supreme led the way. That's why they can mark it up to $55 on a t-shirt, $2,000 or whatever it is. Because they add that value to the name. People are just buying the name. They don't care about the fabric or nothing. Look at the t-shirts. If you ever felt the Supreme t-shirt, it feels like a gilding, man. It don't feel like no next level or Bella Cavins or Circle Clothes. It don't feel like none of that. It feels like a gilding. But people are buying the name. Why do you think somebody will buy a brick, a drill, an apron, you know what I'm saying, a trash can? Because of the name. So when you sitting there and you worrying about, you, you, you want to start your business, but you like, Ah oh, man, I don't got. I, I gotta get the Pakistan manufacturing. Man, stop worrying about that. All you got to do is get the T-shirt, man. But first, stop marketing. Build your name. Build your brand. Where's the story at? The concept at? Let's go, peoples. Fashion has evolved from back back then. 
Everybody was worrying about, hey, oh man, all oh, that feel good. Is that sheep? Is that sheepskin? Is that velvet? You know what I'm saying? What, what's that goat? What is that horsetail? Was that a Campbell hunt? Huh? <laughs> That's what people was worrying about then. Now, people really don't care. They just buying into the name. That's why. That's why you see a lot of people successful because their marketing skills and how the the concept behind their brand, the story. Oh, yeah, I had to get my daughter, you know what I'm saying? I didn't have no way, so I did create this brand called One Love. Because it was that's my love of my life, my daughter. My daughter, you know what I'm saying, helped me to do this. Motivate me to be my own boss so I can provide for her because nobody was hiring for me. Think about it's the story behind your brand. No, If nobody know your name, nobody's not going to support you. I'm going to say this once again. The formula to have a successful brand is 75% marketing and 25% product. When I say that, you can look it up, you can research it, whatever you want to do. I'm telling the truth. A lot of us sit behind the computer, we don't market it, we don't do nothing. We don't make no videos, we don't put our website on it, but we wonder why we're not moving nothing. We wonder why people ain't coming to it, because you know why? You sitting behind a computer designing every day a different design, but you're not doing nothing with it. You're not marketing the design. I fell into that trap plenty of times, but this time I didn't fall into it. I built my community first. Then I, I put my brand out there, and I'm still marketing. I'm still building to this day. I'm marketing now. I'm getting out, networking. I'm getting out of my space. I'm getting out of my town. I'm moving around. With the art department, acknowledge raw talent. You see it? This is what it's about. This is what this platform is about. Acknowledge raw talent. Helping artists turn their artwork into wearable art. That's my mission. I'm a felon. Hey, I had to do this. I'm on survivor mode. But I want to see everybody win at the same time. That's why I'm sharing this with you. I ain't no gatekeeper. Ain't no gatekeeper, man. I'm giving the key to everybody, man. Come on in. Come on in. Get this free information. So, hey, think about it. Change it up. Build your brand. Get out of market. Stop worrying about the product. Build your brand up. Your story. You understand? Your story. Build the hype around your name. Look at Supreme. Build it up around your name. Supreme ain't better than you. They just got there before you. Now it's your turn up. Let's go. You gonna step up or you gonna fold? Let's win, y'all. That's all I got for you guys, man. Peace and blessings. Ah!